doing is setting this up roughly here on my bench. It's good to do a dry run, especially such as this, because uh, there's lots of different uh, configurations. My next step will be to start hooking the configuration up and I will show each step as I go along. So I've hooked up the airlines to the uh, retracts on the ends with the red uh, airline and that's going to be, this is the fitting that extends the uh, retract. Also added a T fitting right here in the middle. So I connected the two retracts and then that's going to be the out uh, airline connecting to this T and that's going to run out of the center section of the wing and then that will connect to a quick disconnect so that I can take the wing off and the airlines can obviously stay inside the wing because they'll be covered by the balsa sheeting. Now let's move on. So here's the purple airline hooked up to the other uh, airline airport on the retrax. And again, those are routed to a T fitting. And those will be inside of the center section. And there'll be a piece of airline coming from each of these that will run through a hole in the center section. And then as we'll, we'll connect the quick disconnects to those uh, airlines and that'll be the point of uh, disconnect so I can remove the wing if I need to in the future. As you can see the airlines come off of the T, same color of course, and those run off to the quick disconnect such as here and here and when it's time to remove the wing it's a simple matter of taking that quick disconnect, twisting it, and pull apart. And now you've got the airline removed from the other end. And in this case, the wing can be taken off without uh, accidentally pulling the airlines out. And you just twist it back when you're done. I'll make some sort of mounting block so that I can place this into it and that'll keep this in place also in the plane instead of having it rattle around not sure yet but anyway that's that step and now the next step is to connect these ends right here to the T fittings again which will then route to the uh, speed control valve which is what you see right here as you can see I've hooked up the airlines into the speed control valve and this is what's going to control the how quickly or slowly the retracts come out of the uh, fuselage and wing or the nose I should say and as you can see I've hooked up the red line to this valve and it doesn't really matter which one you hook it up to um, I like to hook it up to this one based on the schematic for the drawing which calls this the air out spool out port and it calls this port here the air out spool in. And since this red line is designated as the extending of the gear, um, I'm calling the spool out the same as out gear. And the purple line is for retracting the gear and that is on the spool in. So that's my way of remembering it and keeping it together uh, for myself. Do whatever you feel like. So those have been hooked up to a T as well and those will uh, connect to the uh, airlines for the retracts. Well we've hooked up the airlines from the speed control to the T fittings as before and now those are hooked up to the airlines for the retracts in the wings. It's going to be quite a maze here so it's kind of difficult to follow. I really just want to get it hooked up and show you what it looks like roughly, but you can see that those run, route to the, through the quick disconnect through the T-fitting and then those run through these airlines through the retracts themselves. And the same as over here, those route properly through the correct airlines, 
quick disconnects T fittings to the speed control valve as well. Final hookup here is going to be the airlines from this T fitting to the retract for the nose gear.